Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to What's Happening. Today I'm going to be playing Ocean's Light, which is the free edition of Ocean. So you can, if you have an iOS device, and this might be on uh, on um, Android as well, I don't know. You could download this and mess with it just as I'm about to here. Uh, first of all, again, welcome. Please let me know if you can hear me, you can see me. All of that is working as it's supposed to. And we're going to get going in just a little bit. So I've already done a tutorial. Though I'll be honest, I did it last week at some point. So I um I might be my my play here may be a little chaotic and messy just because again I it's not super fresh in my mind. Let's see. Hello, hello everybody. I got a bunch of usual suspects. I do, however, have a new, very active name here, Alexandra Correa. Haven't seen you around before. I'm glad to have you. Audio and video are good. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate that. Who's sick? Is someone is someone uh, not feeling a little under the weather? What's going on? I can't. I missed that comment. Whoever it is, feel better soon. Take care of yourself. Drink, drink plenty of fluids. Whatever it is. Well, I guess unless you're... Waterlogged. That's not a thing. Uh, you know, if you're... Then don't. But for most everything, drink plenty of fluids. Z needs new victims, says Team On. <laughs> All right, everybody. What do you say we go ahead and kick this thing off, huh? Let's do it. Here we go. So, tutorial, like I said, I did. It's pretty good. It's lengthy, though. Which is why I was not feeling particularly motivated to go through it again. It just, it's a really, it, it, it holds your hand for, like, a whole game. It's one of those tutorials where it's sort of tells you what to do and it plays for you while you watch so it's a little too long for me but anyway it does a good job of teaching you i assume because we're about to find out if i forgot everything ai game do i wish to resume something no discard beginner or easy or medium easy oh that's too scary all right loco okay what is loco? Now again, as far as what this is available on, I really don't know, but the, 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 the chat will know. If this is on PC, not on PC, if this is Android. Right now I'm playing on an iPad, okay? Alright, so we start with the oceans here populated, the different uh, parts of the ocean. I think they're meant to represent depth. All right, the AI is going first, and it's going to be me. So, I am going to play a card, which is how I begin a new species. Each species, my opponent already has one there in front of them, with a shark cleaner ability, and uh, it can have three upgrades. So, you, you play one and begin a new species with it, and assign that thing to it. So parasitic here before feeding, I eat two from the species to the left of this. This table, by the way, wraps around. So if this guy is on my leftmost spot, and then he, uh, he he does his parasitic ability to the left, it means whichever player is to the left, their closest species. So I, I like that because it kind of it, it wraps around the table. Okay, the little four at the bottom of this one is shield. So harder to attack this one. This guy is a good one to begin with. So I will begin with hit. I have two of them. All right, there we go. So I've played a card. That's it. You play one card eventually in the game. When the Cambrian explosion happens, then you play two cards every round. 
So I played one, I began a new species. The green five means how much I will eat, or forage, as they say. Red is attacking, this species cannot attack. And then yellow is defense. So now, once that's done, I play a card, I will feed a species. I'm gonna drag it to here. He eats five, because he has a five. And then I bank one, which is, they, they I think it represents aging. Uh, and that's, you know, victory points put away. I have to make sure also I don't overfeed something because if it gets to that last spot on their little board with the bones, that's bad and I lose. At that point then, if you overfeed, you lose five off of that animal, off of that species. Now I can draw one of these deep cards. Let's take a look. That's interesting. Hmm. I'm going to take this defensive spines. I will not discard anything, I think. Well, maybe one of these inkling cards I can discard. There we go. And then I draw back up. All right, my opponent played a new species. They're attacking me. And now it's my turn. I cannot play these um, dark cards yet until the Cambrian explosion happens. There we go. So I'll have to wait on that. And I think I'm going to... Parasitic is not good if I do it to my own species. But... I could play Parasitic over here. And right before the feeding phase, Parasitic eats. Again, it wraps around, so it ate from that species across the table. I'm going to feed this fella again. And now I bank one from each. Now, if it has nothing to age, nothing to bank, it'll die off, and that species will go away. What have I got? I will take this one. No need to discard. And here we go. So this guy played that twice. What is that? Boom, that one's gone. Got it. So this is a very defensive... Very defensive uh, little critter. Okay, that's me. Now, this parasitic creature will die, unfortunately, unless I feed it or find a way to give it some food, because it would leech off to the left, and that figure across, the, the one across from me here, is, is doesn't have anything to steal. So it sucks, and I'm waiting, I think. Am I waiting? Nope. Yeah. May feed one additional time. Yeah. I'm going to put it on that one. And then I am going to have it eat. Boom, 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 boom. And it couldn't eat everything because I emptied out that region. So it ate as much as it could. You can discard a card and migrate fish from one area to another one. I am... Uh, let's take a look. I'm not going to take any of these. I'm just going to do a normal skip discard, draw a new card from the normal deck. Okay, you're attacking me. All right, buddy. Hmm. What am I going to do? Well, I need to move some food over. So I'm going to play one of these tentacled cards. How do I do this? Is it here? I don't know. 
I'm trying to figure out where it's, I'm supposed to put it. I guess here. No. Uh, where do I put this guy so that he moves food over? There we go. And then I pick where from. And where it's going. Yep. There we go. So I moved nine little fishies over and now I eat. This one has that. This one has that. Let's eat. And age. There it is. Uh -huh. No, I'm good. I'll skip that. I'll skip that. Okay, let me check the comments. Make sure everybody is with me. All right. Okay. Sorry. I'm just going to... I'm taking a pause from the game, checking the comments. What's up, Joey? How you doing, buddy? It can feed off of the reef. Da 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 da. This scarred pile is where that was supposed to go, which I figured out. Thank you. Okay, cool. I'm good. Now I need to play a card, and then I need to feed this character over here with a parasitic ability. That parasitic is is not working out because he's barely keeping his little dude alive. He's always banking as much as he makes. Hmm. Is he attacking me with this? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put Inkling on this one. Give it some defense. And now I'm going to go over here bloop, 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 and empty that out. So now he cannot attack that species anyway right now because it has a defense of four. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and take uh, draw three, select one. May not be attacked, may store five extra food. Filter feeder is kind of the same thing, but it needs six and can store extra food. Wow. Okay, I'll take that. Okay, he's making a new one. He's attacking the other one. Fine. And that guy is just going to immediately die. The, the computer is um, not making great moves. And I, this was not like beginner. I picked easy. So the AI is a little silly. You being silly. Okay, let's move some stuff. <clears throat> there we go. Now I gotta feed. I am not going to. Do I wanna take a. No, no deep. No discard. Just give me a new card. There we go. Ah! Okay, so the Cambrian Explosion happened, which is that period in time when, again, there is sort of a, an explosion of life in the ocean. It's about 40 years ago, if, uh, if I know my history. And from now on, there's an ability that's open, and we play two cards every time we play. The ability is Abundance, Traits with Gains. Get that. 
So what, plus one gains? I'm guessing that's what that is. And now I can play these. Right, that's what that is. Gains one. Oh. After a new species is created, that thing gains one. Okay, I like that. And I also like this one, though. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on this fella right here. <laughs> Try to eat me now! Oh, wait, what? I have to pay for it? <clears throat> I forgot about this. I put a point back? Okay, got it. Now I am going to eat. Okay, what's he got over here? Apex Predator, three attack. I'm good. If he wants that guy to eat, he's going to have to eat his own. Because that's not happening. <clears throat> oh, I have to play another card. That's right. I'm like, why can't I eat? So I have to play another card. Okay, gains one after the species to the right. Forages or eats. And this one. No, and this one is that. He's going to attack this guy. No, he's not. I'm going to play this. I'm going to make a new species right here. I know it's on the outside. But... And then this is going to eat. Boop, 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 boop. And that one's going to eat. There you go. Oh, baby. Let's take a look. Okay, may not be attacked. I'm not that worried. I got some pretty decent defense. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to skip discarding. I'm going to skip a dark, uh, a, a deep card or whatever. I'm just going to see what happens. There we go. Yeah, he's just going through species left, left and right. <laughs> all right so once they are all empty i think is when the game is end is triggered right now this abundance ability is in effect eventually when this is emptied out we're gonna have that effect happen so for right now i need to play two cards they are going to be i'm gonna move some food over from here to here. And then I'm going to play another card. And that other card is going to be... That's not good. Uh... But this one's not bad. <laughs> there we go. And then I'm going to feed this one from right there. Now, again, it has the card that says I cannot, never overpopulate. Otherwise, when I did eat that much, there's the, the you know, it self-regulates. The, uh, the species has overpopulated itself. And uh, the idea being they die out because they have nothing to eat. It's uh, the theme you have to sort of extrapolate. but So you lose half of them. If you ever hit uh, the, the full amount, half of them you just uh, put away. Or they go back in one of the oceans, I forget. <clears throat> Leviathan, let's see. Aging plus one is good because I'm scoring more points. But... Then if they have nothing to eat... Or to age or whatever, then they just die. So... No, I think I'm good. 
I think I'm doing okay. Hmm. I'm gonna get rid of schooling. Oh, I got rid of both? Ugh. Okay, I, 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 whatever. They play so quickly. I guess that's good. Okay, this guy over here can have an extra trait. He also needs to start eating a little more, so... Being a predator right now sucks. There's, I mean... There's not a lot to... Consume out there. I should be giving this to someone, seeing as to how he's going through so many new species all the time. Put it right there. And then... I don't really want this Apex Predator, I think. Cheetah. I'm gonna throw it away. Move some food over. Let me see. Gains one after the species to the right forges or attacks. I should have kept that card that lets this guy eat fat, you know, uh, age plus one. He's filling up. Okay, I'm checking the one on the right. There's nothing to leech. This guy only eats one himself. Yeah, I don't think, um... <clears throat> I don't think it's a great move, but it's my best move, I think, still. And now I'm in trouble because that one on the right doesn't have anything to age this time. <sighs> That's not bad. The blubber's not bad for that center species for me. That way I don't have to worry about the fact that I'm not banking them quickly enough. I'm gonna do it. Okay, good. <clears throat> you attacked me? What a jerk. Where's that one card I have that when people die, I get a bunch of stuff? It's crazy. This guy is just going through so many species. I'm trying to make sharks here. I want him to go the distance. This dude is coming up with, you know... First edition guppies up in here. It's they're not gonna they're not gonna last, man. The Chevy Novas of, of fishery is what this guy's doing. What was the name of that character I was playing against in uh, Istanbul? You guys were laughing about it. We, we he had a name. We gave him a name, or maybe he had a name in the app. That's who I'm playing against. <clears throat> Okay, so yes, that's good. And also, this one. So let's do it. Blubber's gonna go right here. Buddy, you got an extra one. You gotta store it up. And then you... What's going on? Oh, I'm paying. Yeah. And then you... I'm gonna have to go on the last one, but I have to get rid of something. So let's see. That's okay. Uh... Yeah... Ugh. Terrible. Okay, oh, this is, this is bad. I think I want to get rid of... I don't want to get attacked. He still has a giant predator out there. So I'm going to get rid of this one. 
and I'm going to give him Symbiotic. There we go, and now this guy will eat, and the other two will make stuff. Yep. I got a little ecosystem. <clears throat> wow. How, how has he not jumped on that cart? Your stuff is going extinct all the time. Hmm. May have an extra trait, may not be leached, never overpopulates, never goes extinct. It's tricky. It's tricky stuff, guys. And these cards, if I'm not mistaken, the deep cards. It's like a whole deck and they're all different. I'm going to draw three from the top. Aging plus two is kind of what I want. <clears throat> I think. I'm taking it. I'm not going to discard anything. There we go. Let's do it. The Dragon's Tomb says, Hi, I'm just getting here now. Do you mind restarting the game from the beginning? <laughs> I, I'll play, uh, if you really did just show up, I'll probably play again real soon. I'm gonna do a couple games, so back to back. You'll, you'll see from the beginning. Alright. Well, this dude is eating so much, the one in the middle. Parasitic. I no longer want him to have parasitic, actually. So let's get rid of that. I'm going to give him aging plus two. Go ahead and pay it. Put it right there. And then for my second card, I am going to play this one right here. After each aging phase, species without a deep trait lose one population to the reef. Do all of mine have a deep... One. I don't know. I'm taking it from here. Now this one. Oh, I can't eat. Okay. Let's see. I've got that. This is going to le. It's not going to leech. So I'll uh, eat from here myself. It's just one, though. Yeah, that's okay. Then right, because this one. There we go. Okay, double double aging on that one, or extra aging on that one. I think I'm good actually with the. I'm, I'm gonna chill with those. Skip discarding. Draw some new cards. Let's go. Let's go, AI. What do you got? <clears throat> That's right. Make those new species. I'm okay with that. You just gave me free feces. Okay, I need to make sure that everybody has... That's a deep trait. This one doesn't have one. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. That one will die out if it doesn't eat. Actually, I'm gonna lose one of the two. There's no way I don't. This one leeches two, but there's not enough. I need the middle one to eat, right? Is what I need. So I'm gonna go ahead and help that one out. Put it right there. And I'm going to... Ooh, what am I gonna 
do well cleaner come on stop let me just read it hmm <clears throat> need to play a card on something. Okay, now I'm at a, a dilemma. I'm just debating what to do here. I gotta play a card still. I'm happy with the way they are set up. But they, there's not enough food. I need to feed the center one so that this one can gain. That'll, that'll mean that'll survive. This one here is going to gain one. It'll gain two, actually. Which is also good because of the abundance card right here. I don't necessarily want to populate... I don't want to necessarily migrate fish though maybe i do because i think i might be winning and that will hurry the end of the game aging plus one is not i don't really need it anymore i think that one in the center for me my big one is aging enough where i'm not falling behind so yeah i will throw this away move over from here to here And then I'm going to eat, and the ones that are going to eat are... What is the deal here? Is someone gonna go? Somebody's gotta go, right? No. They're okay. This guy eats. The other two are okay. Go ahead. What's going on? Yeah, okay, so go eat. Am I missing something here? What's happening? Oh, I gotta put food away. What's going on? I want this one to eat there. I'm pressing back. Doing that. I'm gonna select this one to move fish in here. Play or migrate another card. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. I forgot that that was not my second. I thought that was my second card. I'm gonna put that right there. And then this guy's gonna eat. Am I missing something? Uh, okay, let me see. What am I missing? You can't eat from the middle because of opposing cards. Migrate from the Lost Ocean. Discard either forge or attack from center. Oh, whoa, whoa. I can't forage because, well, it says I can't right there. Why can't I? Discard either forage or attack from center. I guess I don't know why. Oh, I see. This one lets me not forage. And this one lets me not attack. I got you. Well, unfortunately, if I get rid of this, I will definitely overpopulate. Plus, I'll have to attack. But I want this guy's fast aging.
I will not overpopulate. I can store extra stuff. That sucks. His species. I can't even attack his species. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Okay, let's go back. I'm gonna have to get rid of that one. I see what's going on. I see what's happening here. I don't know how to play it and I suck. Sometimes I just cannot read things. When I'm staring at a giant blob. I still want the extra aging. Player of migrate another card. There we go. Bloop, 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 bloop. I love it. Okay, solar radiation. Oh. Okay, so that last one doesn't have a deep card, which is fine. No. No. There's a lot going on in this game. I think for folks, um... The, you know, the, the question that always comes up, right, is... Attack my own species? No, I don't want to do that, Matt. The uh, question that always comes up with this game is, you know, is it different enough from evolution? Is it better? Is it worse? All of that. The things I've read myself, I have not played this enough to tell you. But the things I've read myself, people say, oh, this is a better two-player game. This is a better, more straightforward game. If you want something more casual, this one. If you want something more complex, the other one, evolution. Maybe I, the two-player thing makes sense, and I do like that there is no simultaneous reveal in this game. You just take turns around the table. I like that. I prefer that kind of game more. But imagine me doing all of this stuff without the app, catching mistakes and things like that. Obviously, the I could see the whole card. I wouldn't have to like you know. It's they, they're they're. Saving real estate on the screen here by making me do this every time I want to remember what everything is But still it's not there's a, a, a Decent amount of complexity there the interactions between the cards are not to be underestimated. There's a lot going on oh, Okay Leeching to the right right here sucks. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to play this on it. Put it right there. And then I have to play another one. Um, Do I have anything that can age a little faster? I might need to do that because I I'm gonna this guy's gonna top out right here. Hmm. Okay, let's give you aging plus one, buddy. I'm fairly certain if this middle guy eats, I'm going to overpopulate with the one on the left. 
The one over here only eats one, but at least I won't overpopulate with the one on the left. Which means I would lose five, boom, from it. And I want those there. So while it might not seem like the best idea, I think I'm going to eat with that one. Okay, good. That one dies. Yeah. Okay, so this is almost over because... Oh, I don't know if I will be able to play this again. Oh, it did overpopulate. Garbage. Oh, he began a new species and forced me to overpopulate. Super jerk! Waiting on the Cthulhu expansion. This already is Cthulhu. Some of these beasties of the deep are clearly Lovecraftian. Alright. So this is it. This is my last round. What do I got? Hmm. I'm just figuring out here, um... I'm just gonna make a new one, I think. There's no reason not to right now. Everybody else is good, content. This one in the middle would eat four, though. There is that. That's not gonna work out. This is two. No, so the best I can do is eat two with a new species created from right here. Not great. I could also play this out and then attack his middle species, but only for one. I'm taking away a point for him and giving me one, which is the same thing as just getting two. So no, forget this. Oh, what am I doing? I am just gonna not do anything. I don't want to change these at all. I'm gonna throw this away. Move stuff over. I'm gonna throw this away. Move stuff over. And then this guy's gonna eat. That's it. And then I add all the ones that were on my species boards. Let's see. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's right, baby. Wrecked. That's what you get, AI. Atlantis expansion, yes. This one is, I gotta say, this game kind of toes the line with the fantastical nature of the stuff. You know, there's a lot of crazy stuff down there. <clears throat> so there we go again it's all the uh aged ones plus whatever population you still had i i i do think there is a uh, thematically this one's a little harder to grok i think it it makes a leap a couple of leaps that you need to just sort of go well it's gaming you know when you attack or feed forage you are getting these little fish they are food they they would appear to be food then your creatures age and so they, they switch from being food tokens to being population tokens and you bank them <clears throat> excuse me um it's simpler than the original game in which you had like body size and population and all these other things. They kind of have combined, uh, you know, some ideas together. But thematically, it is a little 
more abstracted, I guess I'll put it that way. Mechanically, this one is a little simplified, I guess. Even though you do have all that craziness that is introduced by the cards. I like the spatial issue with this one. The whole, this one, you want the species to be to the right of this other one. Or, oh, when this one attacks, then the one to the right will feed. All that stuff is neat. Okay, let's see. Nope. Ba-ba-ba. I don't think I'm going to have time to play again, actually. I thought that was going to get shorter. And I do apologize to that gentleman or gentle lady who showed up and said, Oh, play again from the beginning. You know what? Nah, I just destroyed easy mode. And I feel pretty good about myself. Am I shallow? <laughs> Get it? Uh, yes. But also, as someone so eloquently said, get wrecked, game. There we go, guys. That's going to be it. There you there you go. I hope that gives you a good idea of how this flows, the kind of game it is. And again, I'm playing Ocean's Light here, as it says on your screen. You can go download this right now and check it out. I'm playing on the iPad right now, but we figured out it was on the PC as well. And I think Android, you guys said. So, uh, Tom is on in 13 minutes. What's he up to? What a, what a crazy, crazy person. Walk away. Just walk away. That's what I'm doing, man. All right, guys. I appreciate you hanging out with me. Thanks very much. Stick around this whole week. We got lots of uh, goodies going up. Reviews, breakfast, of course. All the usual suspects. You know where to keep it. Keep it right here. All right, I'm out of here. Thanks for hanging out. Don't forget, we've got our Kickstarter coming up very soon, about a, hopefully like a week and a half or so, a couple weeks. So we're hoping to launch on the 12th. Write it down. Keep your ear to the ground. We totally need your support, and we infinitely appreciate it. That's it. Enough waffling from me. I'm out of here. My name is Z Garcia. You've been watching The Dice Tower. Goodbye. <laughs>